Y'all, there are some changes afoot, so let's talk about them. There are about to be three big changes to this channel and really mostly about schedule and content. Um, but nothing will take us outside of Eurovision because you know that's what I love. So we are still gonna be doing Eurovision. It's just the schedule's gonna change. So stick around and we'll talk about those three changes that are going to happen soon. just want to say that this upcoming week is just going to be some random reaction requests. I'm going to be real busy this week, so we're not starting anything new this week. Know that. And then I'm going to try to start these new series of the week after. So just be aware of that. So change number one is... Eurovision entries five days a week. We are pulling it way back because the EBU's really strict copyright um, enforcement for Eurovision 2016 through 2019 means that I can't actually react to the full videos. I have to essentially chop out any part of the video where I'm not speaking. And so we are just going to do three a week now instead of three a day. Um, and they, those are moving to Sundays. And I'm gonna call those reviews instead of reactions because I don't think it's fair to call it a reaction and to have people expect me to watch the whole video. Now I am watching the whole videos, but I just can't show the whole video. So I don't think it's fair to you all to call it a reaction. So I'm gonna call those reviews. And I'll probably start off just doing grand final reviews um, or reviews to entries in the grand final just for the sake of getting through the next for Eurovision years um, quickly. And then if we wanna go back and do reviews for the non-qualifiers, we can do that as well. Um, but I'm going through a lot right now, so let me just give you a quick rundown of some of the stuff I have to do and why I'm pulling the schedule back in addition to not being able to react to the full videos. So, this upcoming Wednesday, I have to defend my master's thesis. Then next Friday, a week from today, I have to drive 16 hours back to Kansas. Well, Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna split it up into two days because Monday, November 9th, I have to start a new job in Kansas City. That means I have to look for a new apartment there. And also, <laughs> Sunday, November 15th is my birthday. Probably not gonna do anything, but um, that's happening too, so anyway. There's a lot going on right now, which is another reason why I decided I'm gonna kind of pull the schedule back a little bit. Um, because we've been going hard. We've been going hard since April or May, and I think we have some room to play with the schedule. Um, ramp it back until Eurovision 2021 music starts coming out. So, change number two. Is that on Tuesdays now, Tuesdays are going to be four top 10 Tuesdays. And I'm excited about this because we're gonna be talking through top 10s, not only by country, but we will also be doing top 10s for a whole slew of other metrics. So, top 10 ethnic box top 10 rock songs, top 10 uh, best outfits, top 10 hottest men, hottest women, all of these different metrics. And we'll decide on those together. Y'all can always give me an idea for a top 10 Tuesday. So every Tuesday, we're gonna have a new top 10 video. Um, and then lastly, we have our third change. third change, perhaps the one I'm most excited about, is a new series. And this new series is going to happen every Friday. So this new series, I got the idea for this series, by the way, from one of you all. It was Kirill from Russia who told me about this, who gave me the idea. We're going to be calling it Eurovision Hopefuls. And with this series, I'm going to be reacting to artists that you would like to see represent a country at Eurovision in the future. So when you give me your hopefuls, I need you to tell me the artist's name, of course, what country you want them to represent, what country they'd be el eligible to represent, and then a music video or a live performance from them that you want me to watch. Because this is this will be a fun way to kind of prepare us for Eurovision 2021 season and to just kind of think about who might represent countries in upcoming years. 
And so I am going to do the first one. And the first one of that series will be released on Friday, November 13th. Um, because I have an artist in mind already that I want to see represent the country at Eurovision. Now it can be an artist who's been part of a national selection already and just hasn't made it, or it can be um, somebody who's not in the Eurovision world already, but that you would like to see there. So anyway, let me know if you have any now, and if not, you can let me know once we do the first example. So anyway, super excited to get into this. I'm sorry if any of these changes disappoint anybody, but I hope that you realize it's still going to be a hell of a lot of fun, and I really cannot wait to get into some of these different types of videos. I've been saying that really since we started doing our regular reaction series to Eurovision entries. I've been saying, you know, one day we'll get to different types of videos, and now we're kind of starting to do that. And of course, once Eurovision 2021 stuff starts coming out, I'm going to be reacting to national selections and, of course, the selected entries. But those won't be on given days. That will just be as soon as possible after it happens. So anyway, let me know what you think about these. If you like this video, please like it and please consider subscribing if you haven't. But anyway, thanks for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you next time.